Hi, welcome to Amy's Autopsy Report. My name's Amy. Uh, today I am reviewing a movie called The Veil, starring Jessica Alba, uh, Thomas Jane, and it was directed by Phil Jonau. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, so let's get into the movie. Uh, the, the movie is, is a story about um, a religious cult and uh, kind of like a Jim Jones type of religious cult uh, where the group commits a mass suicide. There's one lone survivor, um, a character called Sarah. She's five years old. And then the film cuts to 25 years later and Jessica Alba's character plays um, a documentary filmmaker whose father was uh, one of the FBI agents who you know, arrived at the scene after the mass suicide. And uh, she contacts Sarah in order to hopefully get answers because her father actually committed suicide after the um, discovery of all of the bodies after this mass suicide. So I, I thought this movie sounded great when I, when I heard about it because it's a very unique story, very unique premise. Um, so to continue on a little bit about the plot, I'm not going to give too much away. Um, I, I don't personally like spoilers, but... <clears throat> so the documentary film crew and Sarah go back to the location of the compound, where the compound was. And Sarah takes them to this undisclosed house that supposedly the FBI and nobody else had had uh, come in contact with. And they discover lots of film reels. So they hook up a film projector and get everything working. And they, they find out that this cult leader, whose name is Jim Jacobs, played by Thomas Jane, has discovered a way to resurrect people after they die. Um <clears throat> So you kind of get all of that towards the, the beginning of the movie. And, and I really, really liked the idea of this. So let me go first into the things that I liked about this movie. Um, the, the movie was, I read that the movie was only shot in 25 days, which is fairly impressive because it's just very, very impressive once you, if you see the film that to think that they shot the whole thing in 25 days is, is pretty is a pretty big deal. Uh, so there's that. The I really like the shooting style of this movie. Um, they really used the camera to um, gain a lot of tension from, from the viewer. Y you know, a lot of times when there's certain types of editing, certain um, shot composition, it actually invokes more suspense from the viewer and it's kind of a psychological thing, but they used a lot of shots that, that achieved that. And I felt like they really did achieve that in some of the, some of the scenes. So I really liked that. I, I also really enjoyed the atmosphere, the setting. It was um, all outside. It was lit really well, and a lot of it takes place at night. And so I thought that that was done really well. I also enjoyed the acting in this movie. Thomas Jane was really great as the cult leader. Uh, he was, in fact, I didn't even realize that was him until after I saw the movie. I mean, he was, he was completely like that, the cult leader. So the acting was great. Jessica Alba was good. The girl who played the lead, Sarah, I can't think, I think her name might be Lily Robb. Um, she was great also. And like I said, the story idea and plot and premise and everything, I, I really, really liked. Um, things I didn't like about the movie. It was, it was pretty slow going. It was not a very quick moving movie at all. Um, it's, it was an hour and 25 minutes, I believe. Um, some of the scenes, I just felt like there was so much of them watching these film reels and trying to come up with what was going on that there just wasn't a whole, it just, for me personally, it felt imbalanced with the amount of action. And, and I actually felt pretty bored through a good portion of the movie. Um, the the Jim, jo or Jim Jacobs character, who's kind of like a Jim Jones-esque 
guy. You know, once he starts resurrecting people, you know, on the films that they're watching, uh, they discover the whole group gets there. There's a supernatural force, you know, because of all the people that died there and specifically from the Jim Jacobs uh, character that the documentary crew team starts getting picked off. But you don't, most of the deaths you don't really see. Um, there's, there's little to zero gore in this movie, which I also didn't like. Um, cause I, I like gory, but you know, it has its place. I, I can see why that, you know, that wasn't the focus of this movie. So, but then these people, you know, once they die, they, then they come back. I felt like the idea was so good that it should, that it should have been a lot more interesting and action packed but it just wasn't it, and and like i said i was i was really bored by the time we i got to the end of the movie um so you know i out of my five star rating i'm gonna have to give this one a two two out of five um and it was simply because it just moved so slow i just for whatever reason it just it needed to be just a little quicker here and there and, and uh, but like I said, I mean, the, the premise idea was so good. I was kind of disappointed in it, to be honest, that it wasn't better. But the Thomas Jane performance, I would say, is definitely worth, out, worth checking out. That, that was great. And, and some of the other aspects, like I said, I really liked. But overall, it just was not, didn't move fast enough for me. And, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of slow burn movies too. It's not, it doesn't all have to be all action all the time, but I de this one definitely needed to pick up the pace for me. So that's it. Two stars, two out of five. Uh, the Veil, I wanted it to be better and it just wasn't. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this movie review, click the like button, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you in the next video.